a few examples of claw hammer ukulele and then I'll show you the basics of the basics just to get you started okay to show you <clears throat> the really 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 basic part of that technique um, there are uh, more in-depth uh, tutorials out there and I learned how to play from them and I'm gonna break it down even further than that and let you move on to their tutorials so I just want to show you the mechanics of each little stroke. First part of this stroke is basically a rest stroke uh, or I'll, I'll start with a rest stroke where I'm going to use my index finger and I'm going to come down on this string, this second string, and rest it on the string underneath like that. Okay? We don't even need to call it anything. We'll just say that's what we're going to do. Okay? Notice where my thumb is resting. Um, that's going to be part of this same stroke. So basically we're going to stroke and rest the thumb on the top string. Okay? That's the first part of this whole thing. And this is where I see some people struggle. So. And I might repeat this a lot just to try to emphasize the amount of repetition it takes. When I took those tutorials, um, those couple tutorials online on YouTube, I sat in front of the TV for probably 10 minutes doing this. So literally, um, maybe two or three hundred times until it till it felt natural. And that was only a few minutes. Okay, just a few minutes, um, five minutes of doing that. If you can do that, just that for five minutes, ten minutes, however long you can stand it, um, then you'll have it down. So just this. I'm watching myself in the monitor to make sure I can see what you're seeing. I'll try to cut a lot of this out too because it's already almost five minutes long. That's ridiculous. Okay. So the next part of this, the next part of this is going to be where we're going to use the thumb, okay? You do the down stroke with the thumb resting on the top string, and as you lift everything back up, you're plucking the top string, okay? Practice it like this, just to get used to the thumb. We're not making any music yet. My um, ring finger is on the third fret of the second string. And I'm just going down, pluck, down, pluck, down, pluck, down, pluck. Now, to, to make it a little more rhythmic, go down, down, pluck, down, down, pluck. Pluck, down, down, pluck, down, down, pluck. Okay, so that's your, um, the starting to get into the tick tock -a thing. Um, tick tock -a, tick tock -a. Uh, The other guys have you doing chords or st strums for the tock. Um, and you can do that. Tick tock -a, tick. But um, get Get that down first before you worry about anything else because once you get this down you're home free everything else will be easy so as many repetitions as you can do and then you'll be doing that and what you know I didn't do any strumming on that it was all picking and plucking um, I'm doing your next step after 
what I would suggest to make you sound badass right off the bat, after you get these two things down, practice on your down, make it a hammer on. So start with your finger up on the left hand and do your down and then hammer it on. Okay. And it's okay if you hit an extra string here or there. It doesn't, doesn't matter right now. So, so you can practice. That's when it starts getting to really fun to do, okay? I can do this all day long. Okay. So, Ask me questions if you if you have any um, regarding this. Like I said, it's it's there are tutorials all over YouTube, and they're good ones and different approaches. Look at them all. Look, see what you can get out of them. And even the banjo ones. I watched a lot of banjo ones, and I take away things that I can use on the ukulele. So, anyways, get to clawing. Have fun. <laughs>